Okay, so this is to answer a fairly basic Revit task, but nevertheless, it's a, it's a good one to, to go over because it may not be obvious to newer users of Revit how to actually make adjustments to your view titles to make them bigger, smaller, uh, especially the text is what I'm referring to more than anything else. So to do that, just simply select the viewport in the uh, for a place viewport a uh, place view on a sheet inside of Revit that'll get your viewport and you can click on the edit type button to get the type properties when you open up the type properties you'll see a title and a value for that that value for that title is the loadable family that Revit is using and can be edited in the family editor to basically up or increase the size or decrease the size or do other edits to that view title show different information as well so make a note of this what this family is and then hit cancel and the next step would be to actually find that in your project browser so it's going to be under families annotation symbols that's it's always going to be part of that category and then you just find that family here it is view title view title is going to be the out of the box default for this but again if you've done some customization it might be a different family uh, and then what you'll do is you'll right click on it and edit when you edit the family it takes you into the family editor where you can see the label at its current size and I'll what I'll do here is I don't want to necessarily edit the out of the box family and I might be even using this one for certain views but not for others so I'll right click save as family we'll call this EP view title of course it's going to go in your custom library wherever that happens to be on your network so I'll save as EP view title and then uh, and then the next step will be to actually adjust the label so I'll select the label get to its properties right now it's just kind of nondescript label and if I'm not going to have multiple labels it's okay probably that I just I don't have to worry about necessarily duplicating the type I'll just edit this type I'll click on edit type and here's where you see the text size right now it's at 1 8 inch but maybe it needs to be like a quarter inch you know, it needs to be really a lot bigger so I'll click apply OK notice that any labels of that name will go ahead and upsize as well because it's a type property so all labels of that type will increase as well so you might make some adjustments here to any of the graphics for example this circle needs to be a little bit bigger uh, we'll make it a quarter inch as opposed to an eighth and you know whatever adjustments I might need to move this over you're thinking also as well that when Revit actually adds that line which is a system property you'll need to make sure that these are kind of equidistant it might require a little bit of back and forth just to move these nudge these up or down or over to be in the right spot the point is is that they're they're the right sizes now you can also add additional labels it's probably not a bad thing to talk about too so click on the label tool place the label and then maybe you want to include a referencing sheet or detail or something like that you can again additional information can be added to that if necessary I'm going to delete this and then just load it into the project save it and then load it into the project okay and so once that is done let's go back to our sheet here and let's say I want to use the new label instead of this one to do so again click on the viewport go to properties go to the edit type button and then you should have in this drop down list now the new title that you went ahead and created with the larger sizes I'll hit apply hit OK and now I've got the bigger label now there's a few things again I can see that I need to adjust I need to move maybe the the circle and this label over in the family uh, move that up move that over you know let's do that real quick just to kinda illustrate how this might work so again nudge down nudge up a little bit load it back in the project that's going to overwrite it and when I head back to that sheet view it should look a little bit better again it needs a little bit more adjustment yet but you get the idea uh, that is basically how you would adjust those inside of Revit for different views